Welcome to The Boxing Locker. I am Matt Goddard, former professional boxer, now boxing coach. And today in this, my Boxing 101 series, I'm gonna be taking you through boxing position. In a previous video, we discussed whether you're orthodox or southpaw. Now I'm gonna show you how to establish that boxing position so that you are correctly balanced to throw all of your punches right, uh, move your head correctly and to use your feet perfectly, all right? So first and foremost, I want you to stand with your feet together, completely square to your target, right? I suggest getting in front of a mirror. This is a lot easier if you have a mirror in front of you or just watch me while you're doing it and do it at exactly the same time. Then I want to let your arms hang down, right? The width your arms hang down is the minimum width that your feet can be. So I take a step out. Now my legs below that. I take a step out. Now my legs on the outside of that. Now I've established that that width is where I want to be, slightly wider than shoulder width, okay? Always slightly wider than shoulder width. Now we work on whether we're orthodox or southpaw. You've made your decision already. Hopefully you watched the previous video. You may already know whichever you want to do. We'll get into that now. To go in orthodox, I then put my left foot forward and I move my right foot back. I want to make an equidistant step. So when I started here, I want to go six inches forward, six inches back, and then I turn my feet. So now what I've got is that my lead foot points at my target, my rear foot points out to the side. That's left foot pointing at the target, right foot pointing out to the side, perpendicular to that. Knees soften, hips offset. I don't want my hips forward, okay? When I see a lot of guys boxing, I see them with their hips in this position, and they're here, all too upright, with no glute engagement at all, so they can't drive through their shots, they can't bend at the waist, way too upright. So we establish that position again, six inches, six inches, twist, now I'm in my boxing stance. Hips back, knees soft, rear hand comes to the side of the chin, doesn't have to be all the way up here, just nicely to the side of the chin, that way I can move to the front, I can lift it, I can raise, I can drop and defend, and my lead hand, for the sake of your basic boxing position, in front of the body, elbow narrow, fist above it, and establish that stance at chin height, okay? My wrists are inwards slightly, okay? I don't wanna be punching with a straight wrist. You see a lot of guys punching, and they're throwing shots with a straight wrist. Now, you can see here from this straight wrist that my knuckles are forward on the smaller knuckle. Arc the wrist down, I'm landing with the bigger knuckle. It's a far more rigid part of the body to be hitting people with. Those little knuckles will fold, bend, and break far easier, and they're gonna be a lot less damaging when you actually land on people. So again, that stance, elbows tucked tight to the body, everything nice and narrow, hips offset, knees soft, and chin tucked. Now, all I'm gonna to do to finish this off is just put my weight in the ball of my back toe, okay? So in my toes here, back heel doesn't have to be right up here, it's just relaxed. You may not be able to see very well, but there's a slight gap under my, uh, under my heel here. So my weight is still in the middle of my body. My hips are still central, but by raising that back heel slightly, I give myself a little bit more dynamism, okay? I'm able to move around a lot easier and I can rotate through my shots and generate a lot more power, right? Now let's go to that quickly in southpaw stance. So exactly the same thing, six inches forward, six inches back, I turn it in. Perpendicular, point at the target, knees soften, hips back, hands up, wrists arced, elbows narrow, chin tucked, back heel raised slightly, and now I'm in the perfect boxing stance with my uh, weight evenly distributed, dynamism uh, capabilities through that back foot. I can rotate, I can bend at the hips easy, I can rotate my shoulders, I can pop my shots up, I can move my hands everywhere, okay? One thing I will say about boxing position is that it's really important to keep your chin tucked. By tucked, I don't mean chin to chest, that whole thing's a myth. Chin to chest impairs your vision and you're not gonna be able to see what's coming at you. What I mean is that your chin isn't high, right? If my chin is high, it prevents me from engaging my traps to stabilize myself when I get hit. My balance is off, so if I get hit, my head goes back. There's nothing to resist that. All I do is I tuck chin down. Imagine I've got about a tennis ball beneath my chin to my chest and then I'm looking out the tops of my eyes. That means my trap's engaged to stabilize me, uh, my chin is far more solid as a result of that, and I can still see perfectly well, do everything I need to do, and it doesn't uh, inhibit me from throwing my shots or defending accurately as I should be. 
there we have it guys so that is how you get in your boxing position and um, whether that's orthodox or southpaw uh, how your feet should be placed where your hands should be where your chin should be all of those good things really important that you get those locked in and then remember in every other video that you do all of my videos in this boxing 101 series that is your starting point you have to establish that first if it takes you an extra two minutes to get yourself in boxing position make sure all of those uh, factors are spot on then so be it that'll be better for you in the long run Thanks for tuning in. Remember, as always, it's simple drills for simple skills. Don't complicate anything. Start easy, build upon it, and make everything more complete um, by sticking to the basics and the fundamentals. Have a great day. Remember to check out the rest of my videos, and I'll see you soon.